Hey, what's going on guys? This is Jen. We're going to be playing Crimson and Clover as done by Joan Jett and the Blackhearts. You need your power chords happening for this. So if you don't have them, we did a couple lessons on how to play power chords. Learn that and you'll be good to go. It starts off on the C5 or C power chord. Now, uh, sometimes for time, I'll just end up saying C instead of C5, just quickly for this lesson. Just know that uh, I mean C5 at all times, and G5 and F5. So we start here on C5, two down strokes, we move to G5, and then F5. Slide back, same string, to G5. So it's like one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four, and from the F5 to the G5, I'm just sliding it up without actually hitting anything, hitting the strings with the pick. So that's not too bad, right? That's your A section, only the it goes through several times, and then on the last time, you go da, 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 one, two, three, four, G5 for a bar, three, four, and then we're into the B section. So that's all you have to really pay attention to is when it goes into the B section or the, the uh, different feel change, which I'm going to teach you right now. Stay on F for a bar and then move to G. Remember, they're fives, not full chords, so F5 and G5. Now, let's get into the B section. There's a tempo change. You go to C. Now, I like to slide back to the B flat here. And then F here on the 10th, I'm sorry, on the 8th fret. So you're doing 3, 1, 8. Or you can take the B flat here on the sixth string, sixth fret. So you can do C, B flat, F. I kind of like staying on the, on the fifth string and taking the B flat here because you don't have to switch your hand position at all and you're just staying on the, with the fifth string root. So it's your choice. I think she actually goes to the sixth string but whatever you feel like you want to do, do it. It's exact same chord, exact same note. So you don't have to worry about playing it a right or wrong way because it's the same thing. So C, B flat, F. Now I'm just a, a down, down, a down, a down, 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 a down, a down, down, a down, a down, a down. And then when it goes back into that A section, when we slow the tempo down, it goes to that G chord, that G5. And we're just doing eight notes, one and two and three and four and whole note. And then we're back into the A section. Yeah. Da 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 da. You get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying? I've been singing this song all morning. I've been driving my producer Mark crazy with it, but I don't care. I don't care. That's how I roll. So now we do the last part, which is the arpeggiation. And we're going to be on 9, 8, 8 on 3rd, 2nd, and 1st strings. Then we're going to do 7, 8, 7, 5, 6, 5, and slide back up. 7, 8, 7. So, the actual picking is, the strings are, three, two, one, three, three, two, one, three, three, two, one, three, three, two, one, three. And that goes throughout. And if you want to play the chords behind it, uh, it's the exact same thing as the A section. C5, G5, F5, C5. Again, the arpeggiation. Uh, 
And that's the whole song. It's great. I think it's a great song if you're just getting into power chords um, because it's only a couple different shapes. And um, it's relatively simple. It's a little bit fast on that B section, but I, I personally like the song quite a bit. And obviously you guys like it too. I know there's a lot of Joan Jett and, uh, and the Blackhearts fans and also Runaway fans. So we're going to be doing a couple more songs from them. And I also did a tutorial for... What did I do? It wasn't Hate Myself for Loving You. What was that one? I love rock and roll, that's right. I'm a little bit out of control on that video. I was very, very, very excited about that song and it shows in the craziness that ensued during that video. But I hope you check that one out and I hope you like this one. And if you have any questions, let me know. You can find us on Facebook at Mahalo Guitar Lessons. Uh, please subscribe and rate and comment. And if you have requests, I'm gonna tell you right now what to do with that okay i'll talk to you guys soon bye all right guys thank you so much for watching to learn more songs check out these videos to learn more guitar go to mahalo.com play guitar